discovery of how to make a little uh, interesting diagnosis through the ear signs. You, you have to uh, check the color, the shape, the base, and everything to get a correct answer. And you can use the ear sign to combine with your pulse findings to make a proper, complete diagnosis. But this one can be the teacher because this uh, ear point always gives you a, a long-term impression because this thing don't change very much, but the pulse will change fast. So this means a long-term condition of, the, of your body. Let's start with here. This area is the head. See, this is a little swollen. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, before you start, uh -huh. can you go over all what's where? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to okay. This is the head, and this is the <laughs> inner ear. Inner ear. And this is the, uh, for men, it is testicle. For ladies, it is ovary. And this is the neck and shoulder. And uh, this is the chest from here. This area is the stomach. And this is the stomach and intestine and gallbladder and pancreas and kidney in there. And up here, this is the hip and the hip area. And it goes up to here, this is the knee joints. And this is the pelvic, this triangle is the pelvic. And this is the abdomen, pelvic. And this area is also abdomen. So you can find the uh, bladder uh, problem at the corner of this triangle. As for the entire rim, I think it's only for colon, for hemorrhoid, or for constipation, or for, uh, uh, look like this black spot, like uh, maybe a uh, like, like, uh, polyps, okay? And this is the chest. This chest, and this is heart and lung. And this line is the stomach stomach here too. This area is small intestine and stomach. For this wrinkles here, that's being the sleeping condition. So when we look at the whole ear, I'm going to review it again. The color, if you see a blue veins in there, that means the blood stagnation. If you see a red line there, it got to be inflammation. If you see a brown spot, that's the dead blood, old injury. I forgot to say, this area is for the thyroid. The thyroid, if it's blue, and no blue. <laughs> if it's brown, it's hypo. And if it's red, it's hyper. But it can happen at the same time for those Hashimoto condition. So the blue, uh, the, I'm sorry, no blue. This place can be brown and yellow and uh, reddish at the same time. So this is the chest. And this wrinkles means sleeping disorders. And see this angle here? If the wood is too much, that means there's maybe a little cyst. Oh, very cool. For ladies, it could be ovarian cyst here. Uh, in this, if this wood is too much. Yeah. And for a man, <coughs> it could be the varical veins in the genital area. Varical veins will create stagnation. Stagnation will create temperature. Temperature will kill the sperms. It's bad for the fertility. Okay, let's start it over again. <clears throat> so when I look in here, I see the condition of the patient's head. If it's swollen like this, it means the head is swollen. Actually, you can see the whole ear is swollen, swollen up. A little bit heat in his body. And it might cause a little headache from here. And this area is the inner ear. If you see a bronze, or red dot or green dot there. That means the condition inside the ear. That will cause a little balancing problem, will cause vertigo. Definitely will. I saw <coughs> a patient in Taiwan, a, a lady, she's very chubby. I saw her in the hospital and I says, why? He said, the doctor said this lady had uh, some dead blood, blood clots in the ear. So she had lots of uh, vertical dizziness. So the doctor gave him gave her some kind of blood mover in Western medicine. The time when I, I was seeing that lady, she was bleeding from, from the low part. And even before I can, I can mix the medicine for her to stop the bleeding, she passed away. I don't know what the Western doctor used, but the bl uh, could be some blood stagnation that caused the vertigo. That's quite obvious. So just by looking at this area, you look at the color. If it's red, we use something 
cold medicine. If it's brown, we use some uh, blood movers. If it's green, we use light blood room, uh, movers. And you, you can see this triangle is a little concave, is it? Mm -hmm. it's, it's down a little bit. That means the chest. This patient is suffering from some chest, not pain, just, just suffocating, uh, short of breath or something. This, they, this guy doesn't have a big line. Some, somebody will have a big cross line here. Mm -hmm. That means uh, ischemia. The heart doesn't have enough blood supply. It might be a little problem. And might have a little bit murmur in the heart, noise. Now this one is about to form a line. See that? Mm -hmm. Maybe when 20 years from this guy, there will be a deep groove. That means congestion in the chest. And this line, this, this wrinkle means the uh, uh, sleeping disorder. So if you have a problem with sleep, you, you might want to rock with your fingers in this area to iron down the wrinkles, you might be able to get sleep better. <laughs> and this is the genital. For men, it's testicle. For lady, it's the ovary. If you see, I can see something here, right? Yeah. Some brown spot. That means there's some kind of a blood stagnation or old injury of this guy. His balls has been kicked before. <laughs> or from sports injury, whatever. Or from riding bicycles too much. The dead blood will cause temperature, will cause blockage. Blockage will cause temperature. Temperature will kill the sperms. So I always tell my uh, male patient, if you want to get a baby or something, don't touch the bicycles. Don't do it. And for ladies, that's the ovary. If the ovary, oh, I saw a guy, <laughs> sorry. His testicle is, this one's big. Nice energy. I saw a guy, this area is totally flat and uh, none. What? No. There's no none. 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 There's no supposed energy. to be a ball here, right? But he's, he's small. So his sperm count is zero. Why? Is it's constitutional. He was born that way. So he could never have babies. So the bigger, the better. Okay? But, <laughs> but, it, in, in addition to the brown spot here, you might have, he might have a little a reddish, a red color in this area. That means inflammation. For ladies, that's the uh, ovary, in, inflammation of the ovary. For, for men, it could be the varicose seal or varicose veins. So veins, swollen veins, veins will cause temperature. Temperature will kill the sperms again. And here, a lot of people who have something else here. You might have a little cord or a little ball here. Mm -hmm. That's, this area is above the testicle and or above the uh, ovary area. So if you see a little ball here, a little veins you hear something, that means cyst or hernia, something swollen in the abdomen area. If the ball is like a skin color, then it's fine. If it's just red, red color or brownish color in, on it, then it could be stagnation and uh, cause a lot of pain. Okay? This is the neck. <coughs> this gentleman, this shape of this curve is not too good. It's a little bended, see? That means a little bulging out this area. Might cause a little neck pain. You see the bronze spot here? The bronze spot? That's the old injury on the back. So you might have a little uh, painful neck or something. This area is the, the thyroid we mentioned earlier before. For the chest, you can see this area close to the ear hole is more like the, the lung area, the, 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 the respiratory system. So you can tell if this area is brown and uh, a little dirty color, then you can tell this person, he had the problem with the respiratory system when he was young, for a long, long time ago. If it's, you see some red spot in there, that means inflammation now. And this line, this uh, almost everybody has a red line here in, across this area. That means stomach inflammation and acid reflux or something. And uh, we cannot see from this angle, but if you, if you stand uh, here to look at the ear from this angle, you will see the inside wall wall of the, 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 this area. That, if you see some greens, oh, sorry, no green, some red or brown spot, that's the breast. 
But ladies, you gotta be careful. I've seen so many. Somebody said, I had an implant. Okay, fine. <laughs> but if you see a br uh, red line, red dot here, and brownish dot on the other ear, that could be something not too good. Better do some, better do some uh, <coughs> mammogram or uh, ultrasound. Mammogram is not almighty. Sometimes they couldn't discover anything. <coughs> and if you see some, some little beans in here, the color is fine, the normal, but you see some little beans pop up the skin, that means nodules in the thyroid. But usually it doesn't mean anything. Okay? And let's go up. Okay, this is the hip. If this place is swollen up, then you can tell his back is swollen up from injury or whatever. And if you see some red lines, you can definitely <coughs> see it from your patients. Yes, that means the inflammation here. Then you can uh, use your medicine or treatment accordingly. And you will see some brown color here. That means dead blood. I, I have a patient from Arizona, <coughs> and uh, his, uh, his spinal cord is all dark, almost black. I say your blood, your, your whole spinal is, is full of dead blood. And yes, he had a very strange cancer in there. But still there, and he induced another friend to me. It's also the same thing. That this is the Dumai. So if you see some brownish color or something even darker than brownish, then this area must be the spinal cord is so dead. You can use Sentong Zhu Yu Tang or something like that. And this is the knee joints. And this area is lower, the ankle area. If you see some red lines there, that means inflammation on the ankle or on the foot. And if you see some red line across this area, that's the uh, arm, the upper arm, the wrist or the elbow has arthritis. This area is the allergy area. If you see all red, this, this, this groove. If it's all red, there's definitely an allergy. Allergy most of the time is inflammation. So it's always red, this area. And uh, this is a triangle, it's the pelvic. So if you see something red, brown or blue color lines or what, whatever in there, that means that there's condition in the pelvic area. If the patient wants to have baby, then you just clean it accordingly. If you see a, a red dot right there, that's constipation point, okay? People will have constipation when they have a dot right there. Huh? Here. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's not semen. Semen, semen is here. Mm. Something like that. <coughs> okay, this is a hip too. And this area is more very complicated, but we cannot see clearly from this picture. But anyway, this is a small intestine. So whenever a patient is suffering from diarrhea or food poisoning condition, you, might, you will see some red lines there. That's the intestine, especially the left foot, the small intestine pulse will show a very big jump for the inflammation. And in the, in, in the middle section of this, this groove, this is the gallbladder and pancreas. So if you, look, if you see a dot there, then we'll tell you there's a gallstone. But at, on top of this, this groove, along the edge of the bottom part of this triangle, it, there's the kidney urination system. So if you find yourself a very tiny little pause on the, uh, on the left side or right side, you go check, see if it's, you, you will find some red or black dot, tiny little dot in there. So I can sometimes I tell my patient, hey, I can see your uh, kidney stone, so in there. If, right in the middle, huh? not in the middle, in the middle section, but it's on top of this area here, here, yeah. if you see a brown spot or something, or a little bit of floating like an island, all up floating um, above the, uh, the, the skin, that means cyst, cyst in the kidney. The kidney might have a little blockage, not stone, uh, some, some kind of a multi-cyst or whatever. And the, along here, there's also kidney. So if you find some little dot in there, then it's kidney. Sometimes we miss 
the pause. Uh, the pause. Mm -hmm. We hit the pause. We're too busy or whatever. We miss the point. Or I miss the little beans that cost uh, that, that for the kidney stone. You can verify it from here. Then go back to your boss. So like I always say, a uh, ear, patient's ear is like a teacher to you to teach you how to take the boss, to teach you to tell you if the, your boss taking is correct or not. So after taking the boss, I always verify my finding with this, and I always find myself say, hey, it's correct, it's correct, it's correct. So, the ear can tell you if you're right or wrong. And this one is, this rim is the colon, large intestine. So patient is suffering from diverticulitis or <coughs> colitis, the diarrhea, the inflammation, or whatever you can see it from here. Do you, if you see a red line here, that means constipation and hemorrhoid. Most of the time it's red because there's inflammation there. And if you see some, <coughs> see some uh, dark spots there, that might be the uh, polyps in the colon. Mm. And it really sometimes doesn't mean much. See the red, uh, I mean, see the dots there, the, the, uh, mm. the core? See that? Corners? No, little mm -hmm. concave holes there. Like the surface of the moon. Can you see it? That's the uh, memory loss. The uh, Alzheimer. People will have that. If you don't have it, don't worry. But many young, young people, not, not young people, like 50 year old, 60 year old people who have that very clear pores on this area, that means some part of his brain is missing, deficient. So it means they're losing memories. memories huh? Dr. Chang, huh? sorry. What did you say at the bottom of the pelvis? Okay. What was that right there? Oh, that's the hip. That's hip. See, the hip is bulging out. Yeah. Here, okay. it's gonna be a pain. Underneath mm -hmm. his kidney. Underneath. Yeah, underneath. Yeah. Okay. This Thank is like you. a cliff. <laughs> underneath the kidney. Yeah, inside. Yeah. That's the kidney. Thank you. So, this guy just just a shape is bulging out, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't see any lines on it, or we cannot see clearly a little bit. So really, not much. Maybe a little bulging on. Maybe he needs to uh, do a little correction with the posture, the way you use the computers and stuff like that. Okay. What's the question? Huh? Are you mad? Yo, this is just.